Hi, this is Jeff from Mubedia, and today I'm going to talk to you about the two main ways to sequence drum beats with the Boom Drum Machine Virtual Instrument in Pro Tools. Now, the first way involves simply using the Boom plugin itself without any sort of external MIDI keyboard. And the second way we will check out is using a MIDI keyboard to trigger drum patterns in Boom. So first, let's check out using Boom by itself. The things we want to check right away are, is it in pattern select mode? Okay, and that's right here. We either have pattern edit, which lets you edit the beats of individual patterns or pattern select. So we've got that there. We're going to go to our preferences for boom. And to do that, we click on this little wrench right here. We want to make sure that pattern chaining is on because this is going to enable us to have more than one pattern play in succession. You also may want to check out whether you prefer the sync mode to work on the beat on 16th notes or to be off. In other words, giving you free form control or when and how patterns change. Now that we're in pattern select mode, the way we're going to do that is we're going to just simply click on the first pattern we want. Check that out. And then on the PC, we'll hit control or on the Mac, you can hit command and that will enable you to select different patterns. So if I decided I liked all these, it's going to now switch between them. As you can see by the numbers advancing, it's showing you which patterns are now playing. Another thing to remember about this, and I just hit the Alt or Option key to um, take all those patterns off. Another thing to remember is they will play back in the order in which you select them. So if I have one and then I want four to play, then eight, then 13, and then two, you can have all the patterns playing back in the order in which you sequence them. Now, a quick way to capture this, because this will go away once you do certain other things, all the patterns you've chosen, is to have Pro Tools in quick punch mode, start the drum sequencer playing back, choose your patterns in the order that you want them, then simply put Pro Tools into record. And as you follow the numbers, you'll see that now it's recording all your patterns in the order in which you sequence them. This will come in quite handy if you just wish to save what you did, or you need to go to another person's system where they're not using Pro Tools so they don't have the Boom plugin. Now, the other main way to sequence patterns with Boom is simply by using a MIDI keyboard. And we have a MIDI track here set up. And I've opened up the MIDI editor window just so we can see better what we're doing. And in this case, we want to pay attention to the C3 to D sharp four keys on your keyboard. These are the ones that if you just hit one key, it'll actually trigger a whole pattern. So now at this point, we'll just rewind to the beginning and we'll start recording in Pro Tools. As you see, I'm just triggering different patterns. And they will start on the beat that I happen to hit that pattern on. So now we can play that back. And not only do we have the MIDI performance, we also have it recorded as audio if we need to go somewhere else to take these tracks. So those are the two main ways to work with the Boom sequencing plugin. Between the two of those, you should have a lot of flexibility to accommodate whichever working style you are comfortable with. Thanks for checking out the video. This is Jeff from Obedia.